I'm Chelsea and today I'm going to be doing the Taylor Swift book tag. So basically this tag was created by the Book Life about six or seven months ago, but I'm going to be doing the one that Kat from Cattytastic did over on her channel. So the basic concept of this tag is that we have 12 of Taylor's songs and a prompt that goes along with the song that we have to choose a book that fits that prompt. So let's get started. For the first song, we have We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. And so for this one, we have to choose a book that, or book series, that we thought we were in love with, but turns out we would like to break up. So I've chosen the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast. I started reading these in high school, my junior or senior year, and I just flew through them, got one after the other out of the library, and really enjoyed them. I wouldn't say I loved them, but I read them so fast that I would consider them being like something that I really liked. And then after I graduated, they kind of sat on my shelf for a while, and then I just stopped reading them. About two years ago, I got the 10th book in the series, and just was not pleased with it. It wasn't very good. I didn't like it. And so I have the first 10 in the series of a 12 book series, which is ridiculously long. And I just don't really plan on ever finishing them and uh, just not something I really enjoy anymore. But there was a novella. There's about four or five actually that I really enjoyed. I really liked this one. Lenobia was probably my favorite character. But the other books, just not for me anymore. All right, the second song is red. And so for this song, we have to choose a book with a red cover. Very original, I know. So I've chosen Fire by Kristen Cashore. It's very red, very fiery. I have not actually read this book. I've heard great things about the series, but I've not read it yet. But I've heard great things. I said that twice. But I'm really looking forward to picking it up soon. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's red. For song number three, we have The Best Day, which is probably one of my favorite songs by Taylor. It's really cute, and it really goes with the prompt that was created for it, which is a book that makes you feel nostalgic. And so I've chosen Into the Land of the Unicorns by... Bruce Coville. This is something I read back when I was probably 10, 11, and it was the first book that I really, really loved that I just always thought about, just really, really enjoyed it. And it was also the first book that led me to creating a friendship that spawned from talking about this book. I was sitting on the bus going to school and I heard someone talking about one of the characters I don't remember his name. Squidgem. Squidgem was his name. And um, I just was like, I heard his name. That's from Into the Land of the Unicorns. So I went over and sat by the person that was talking about it and was like, are you talking about Into the Land of the Unicorns? And he was, and we created a really great friendship that lasted through high school. And it was just something that was very nostalgic and was very happy from creating a friendship through a book and that was the first time I ever experienced that. So this is one that really makes me feel nostalgic. And I just realized that it's the first book in a series and I never picked up any of the other ones so I should do that sometime soon and read them. I'd really enjoy that. I hope the writing's not too young for me now that I'm in my 20s but this was really fun book to read. Song number four is Love Story, and for this song we have to choose a book with Forbidden Love, which was a little hard for me to choose because most books have some sort of forbidden love aspect to them, but the one that really kind of stood out to me was City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare for, well, reasons. If any of you watching this have not read the series, I don't want to say the reason why because it's really spoilery and it's a big plot point, 
but um, Jason Clary, yeah, awkward and very forbidden love, very forbidden. Song number five is I Knew You Were Trouble. And for this book, we have to choose a bad boy that you can't help but love. For this one, I was kind of up in the air of who I should choose, but I decided on Sebastian slash Jonathan from City of Heavenly Fire specifically. The reason I chose him is because at the end of the book, there's a point where we get to see who he would actually have been if circumstances would have been different. And I bawled my eyes out at that point. It was just so heart-wrenching and so beautifully written. And it really made me feel for the character that I absolutely hated through the book. Not because he wasn't a good character, but because he was evil and mean and terrible and just made me sick to my stomach in the other books, but in that one point, I just, yeah, Jonathan was the reason why I chose this. And, yeah, read these books, please. If you haven't read them, read them. They're so good. So, number six is Innocent. This song, we have to choose a book that was spoiled for you. Now, I try to be good and not spoil myself but I have this weird ability to just end up getting spoiled. And so one day I was scrolling through Tumblr. For some reason, the read more links do not show up on your phone. So just right in my face was a huge spoiler. And I mean huge. I mean huge, huge spoiler. Yeah, Allegiant. Worst spoiler I have ever ever encountered, ever. That night I had two lab reports to write up and I had the worst anxiety ever that I did not start writing them until like one or two in the morning. The spoiler made me so anxious that I could not focus on my schoolwork. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. Song number seven is Everything Has Changed and the prompt for this song is pick a book where a character has undergone extreme character development and I have chosen Mr. William Herondale. I mean how can I not? He is my favorite character of all time probably and I just I just love him. He is actually the reason that I would really like to start writing my own books, my own material, the way he is developed, the way he changes over the story, his emotions, his feelings is just so beautiful, so gorgeous. This series is just my favorite of all time. And All right, song number eight is You Belong With Me. And for this song, we have to choose the book that we are most anticipating being released in 2015. And for me, this is a little hard because I am really bad at keeping up with the books that are being released like it stuck behind and getting reading slumps and don't keep up with it. So basically it was really hard for me to choose, but I'm choosing Winter. This is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. But I'm going to choose Winter because it is coming out this year. I haven't yet started this series, but I've heard so many good things about it and it's a fairy tale retelling, which is something that I just adore. I am really looking forward to starting this series, so I could even change it to the series I'm most looking forward to starting this year, which is definitely this one. Definitely this one. Song number nine is Forever and Always, and for this song we have to choose our OTP, our one true pairing, our favorite couple. And for me this is really hard because I like a lot of couples, but I have decided to say every single freaking couple in the Infernal Devices series because I literally love every single one of them. I love Jem and Tessa. I love Will and Tessa. I love the three of them together, which sounds weird, but if you read the series, you know what I mean. I love Gideon and Sophie, Gabriel and Cecily. I just, I love every single couple. They're just all so great. They're all so adorable. But overall, 
I really have to choose Gideon and Sophie because they are just adorable. Because you see them start to fall in love. And it's just adorable, and I love it, and I love them. And I All right, song number 10 is Come Back, Be Here, which is actually a song by Taylor that I had never heard until I started watching these tag videos. So for this song, we have to choose a book that you would not lend out. So the book that I chose that I would never lend out is this edition of the Grimm's Fairy Tales, because... It's gorgeous. It has, I don't know if you can see it, it has gold pages. It's gorgeous. Look at that art. Look at that art. It is so pretty and it's heavy and it's just gorgeous and I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, you're not going to get this book. If you want to come over and read it, that is fine, but you're not going to take it with you because it's mine. It's beautiful. And it's mine. Song number 11 is Teardrops on My Guitar. And it's pretty obvious what the prompt will be for this. It is what book made you cry the most? Yeah. Yeah. I was sitting in bed, bawling my eyes out, all disgusting looking, just crying. My brother walks in, wanted something, and I literally screamed at him to go away. He didn't know what was happening. He was just like, all right, all right. And he, he left. <laughs> and then I finished it and was bawling my eyes out. The last song, number 12, is Shake It Off. And for this song, we have to choose a book or a book series that a lot of people just don't like, but you love it. And so you're going to shake off the haters and you're going to embrace your love for this book because that's what you do. Here's what I chose. Got all the books here. Oh, I chose the Caster Chronicles by, what are they called? What are they called? What are their names? By Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Now, these books, they have not gotten very good reviews on BookTube specifically. A lot of people just did not like the second book. And I understand that. I didn't like it as much either. I really enjoyed the series. I really enjoyed the second half of the series. I thought it was really emotional, really touching. I didn't like the ending so much, but I really enjoyed what happened throughout the series. And I think it really showed that magic is something that comes with a price and you have to think you will people that have access to magic really need to think what they do with that power because it's possible to do something that can really turn the tides and really change what happens in a bad way, which is what happens in this story. And I just really enjoyed it. All right, so that about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just thought that this would be a fun start to my channel first video, just something fun, lighthearted, just, you know, something that I really would enjoy. I hope you like it. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I am hoping to be consistent with it. That's about it. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh my goodness, these are heavy. William Herndale. He's all you need. He's fictional. Boo-hoo. But he's all you need. I can't speak. I need water. <coughs> but, yeah. John Green. You hurt me.